All right, that was a dozen of our eggs into our grease muffin tin. All right, I'm gonna come in with my little cookie scoop here and I have some freshly cooked hot Italian sausage and I'm gonna take just a small amount of that hot Italian sausage right into our little silicone muffin tin for this delicious and easy little one pan breakfast. This is one of my favorite things to kind of make and eat and enjoy throughout the week. Super customizable and always delicious. I did a hot Italian sausage. You could totally feel free to do a chorizo, a ham, a turkey bacon, a regular bacon. You could also keep these vegetarian as well, but I love a good hot sausage. I think this recipe is super tasty and always super delicious. All right, now that we have our sausage into our muffin tins, we're gonna move on to my favorite part, some cheese. I actually combined some medium cheddar and some mozzarella into my Tillamook bag. And I'm just gonna go in with just the slightest amount of cheese in each one of our little muffin tins. Honey is right here by my leg, excited for the cheese. But this is for our recipe, honey girl. So I'm just going in, just a small little handful. I know, I know, she's very excited. And you can feel free to do any kind of cheese you'd like. I just love doing the combination of mozzarella and cheddar. It's a great color, great creaminess, little salt, everything we look for within a breakfast recipe. Perfect, beautiful. All right, now we have to season our breakfast. We all know I am a garlic girly, so we're going in with our garlic sea salt. And just a touch, remember those muffin tins are quite small. So just a little goes a long way. You don't wanna over salt because we do have the salt from the sausage and of course our cheese, but we need some garlic. So that should be perfect. In addition to our garlic salt, I have some Spice Island black pepper. Again, just very lightly. They're just single little bites, so you don't need too much, nothing too crazy. And you can feel free to kind of mix up your seasonings depending on who's coming over to your house for brunch. I am a paprika girly. I love a good ground paprika. I think it adds a great little color. And I mean, it's basically just bell peppers. So, I mean, bell peppers are a staple in breakfast. We love it. We're here for it. Perfect. I'm gonna grab just a little dinner fork. And what I'm gonna do is just kind of start to stir and incorporate all of our ingredients into that egg. So we have our sausage, our cheese, and our seasonings right into the muffin cup which is the best part about this. We're not dirtying a ton of dishes. I mean, this is a great little easy breakfast brunch and just breaking up those eggs just like so. So we'll go ahead and get those all nice and broken up and combined. Okay, now that we have all of our little egg bites well incorporated, we are gonna be placing our silicone mold very carefully into our oven for maybe like 15, 20 minutes, depending on how you like your eggs at 350. Oh my goodness, look at how delicious our sausage, cheese, and egg bites turned out. They are perfectly cooked. We have some good golden color on them. And the great thing about the silicone mold is they literally come right out. And I mean, oh, they're still piping hot. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start plating them onto our little serving tray for our brunch. Like I said, the great thing about that silicone mold, they are perfectly cooked and they come out so easily. So we're just gonna take them in and put them on our little Easter kind of plate, even though it's not Easter, but this is gonna be the perfect little serving dish for our sausage cheese egg bites. Starbucks who, am I right? I mean, they smell so incredible as well, but we are not finished yet. I love the little fresh parsley. So I'm gonna pop on a little bit of parsley right on top and these are ready to serve. I wanna cut one open so I just have like a little dinner knife so that we can kind of see what's going on on the inside. Oh, that sausage and look at the egg is perfectly cooked. And of course we have like a nice cheesy crust. Oh, absolutely delicious. You have to try this. 